Hey folks, Adrian Amos here from Synergy Technical again, and I hope you are ready to have a little bit of dashboard envy because I've got a brand new one and I'm excited to show it to you today. We're going to be talking about Microsoft's brand new Endpoint Manager dashboard in Azure Active Directory. So let me go ahead and share this guy up with you guys here and we will get started in it. It's pretty exciting. So, and I know I say everything's exciting. I actually do get really excited about this stuff. So woke up a couple days ago and got an inbox in the email in my inbox blah, 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 saying that brand new excited hot off the presses is Microsoft's new endpoint manager admin center. Uh, we have to take a quick look at it here. We have a home page that has information specifically about resource alerts, device compliance, things that we can get started with, uh, what's new in Intune. There's a dashboard that's customized for this guy here too, so we can see uh, the state of applications, compliance, configuration, all this fun stuff, how our, pro how our policies are working. Uh, I've reorganized mine a little bit so I can get start high and come down to get a little closer. We actually have some nice organization here with tenant administration, endpoint security, devices, apps, users, groups, and then reporting, which is fairly new and into in any way. So if we look at the tenant admin status or tenant administration portion, we can see the tenant status, tenant details, uh, how things are connecting. The service health is actually built in right here, so we don't have to go hunting around for it. Our ties to things like Microsoft Store for Business and other third party or external applications are all neatly unified now in this uh, tenant admin, the connectors and tokens section right here. So I can see my store for business. I can see my Defender ATP. I can see all my Apple VPP tokens. I manage Google Play, all kind of in one nice unified screen here. Uh, if I come down to endpoint security, I'm actually now able to create policies now, um, not so much in the configuration side of it, but right here I can manage antivirus policies globally for all of my different uh, device types right here, encryption policies, firewall policies, however we want to do it. Now, one thing then to caveat here is that you're only going to see this one policy here, and I have a lot of policies in this tenant. So right now, while this whole thing is in preview mode, it's not currently surfacing up things that it could already detect in your Intune configuration. So the only things that will show up here in these policies are the ones that you explicitly create here. And that's gonna become a little bit important later on. But for right now, we can actually see that the Microsoft's intention is that we're gonna be able to look and say, things that pertain to antivirus, I wanna be able to see them in one spot rather than having to go and hunt through and filter for them and figure out what they are. So we're able to see our security baselines, our security tasks that are coming out of uh, Defender ATP or wherever we're throwing them over from. Our actual configuration of the integration with ATP is also visible here. Uh, we can get to our devices and in this spot, now we can actually see platform organized, policies organized here as well. Again, with multiple ways to get back to conditional access. Our update rings are gonna be here. Our enrollment restrictions, device cleanup rules too. Uh, we're going to get all of our statuses and alerts and everything neatly coordinated here. So this is a much cleaner view of our Intune environment from what we've ever really seen before. Um, I can get to my apps here as well. And again, I can organize them by platform. I can get to my policy sets. And I'm going to spend some time in a later video digging into this because, man, I do love me some policy sets. Reusable code is my jam. But I can also get to users and groups too, so we can do a little bit of filtering, figure out why things are working or not working the way that we want to. And then that all important new capability of getting uh, reports out of Intune is now also surfaced into this one new control panel. Uh, we'll probably spend a little bit more time going into things in a little bit more depth later on, uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, show you how things are configured. Now I do want to show you real quick though, you can see here are all my configuration policies. I sure do hope that Microsoft's may get around to showing me these same configuration policies at this device level, or I should say actually uh, at this endpoint security level, so I don't have to dig back through and find them at the other side. But this is really exciting. Being able to get to the things, have multiple me methods of chasing breadcrumbs back to where we started from, uh, and, and a much cleaner interface. So uh, hope we'll get to talk to you soon about uh, setting up some endpoint manager for your environment. Thanks for joining me, bye-bye.